Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It is Thursday, the 9th of April. I'm honestly losing track of days at this point, um, but I do know that it's the third day of my album reactions. So today's suggestion is um, from my friend Shannon, um, who, you know, coincidentally enough, I met at, at a show in the past, so it's all very appropriate for this. Um, so she has recommended to me um, one of the many great albums um, produced by Fleetwood Mac. This album is called Rumors. Um, it's, I mean, I'm not a huge Fleetwood Mac fan, but I know them well enough to know that this is probably like their most well acclaimed album. Um, that being said, I only knew about half the songs, um, or even le maybe even less than half the songs before I listened to all of them today. Um, so it was a really cool experience to hear these guys for the first time on a lot of these tracks. Um, again, the way it works is this song, or this album again, has 11 tracks, just like the previous two I've done. Um, I listened to eight of the 11 already earlier today, took some notes on them, and, excuse me, and um, for three of the songs, I selected them using a random number generator, and um, I'm going to be watching those live with you guys and reacting to them for the first time um, on this on this recording. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So here we have the track listing. The first track um, is called Secondhand News. Um, I thought, first of all, the first thing I noticed is that being the first track on the album, um, it had a fade in too, which I know you know, back in the 60s and 70s was just kind of becoming a thing, so it's cool to see that Fleetwood Mac used a fade-in to start their very first song on the album. Um, it was a really good song. The chorus is really good. The um, kind of like the country kind of twang to it. Um, and then, of course, the most noticeable thing for me as someone who always notices this in any music I listen to was um, the harmonies, the vocal harmonies, um, not only between the male singer and the female singer, but also the two female singers with each harmonizing with each other too, and just a really good preview of what I expected to come um, from the rest of this album. So that was track one. Um, track two called Dreams, um, written according to Wikipedia, written by Stevie Nicks, obviously one of the members of the band. Um, the beginning was pretty trippy. Um, I know I didn't really quite recognize the song completely until I heard the line um, where she says, players only love you when you're playing, and that's um, a really iconic lyric that I definitely heard before and I've heard of before. Um, the instrumental part in the middle was really nice and kind of soothing and calming in a way. Um, and the coolest thing about this was at the end of the song I realized, okay, I've listened to the first two songs on this album and they're totally different. So you can already tell to Fleetwood Mac's credit that they're going to have a like large diversity of, of songs on this one single album. Um, let's see, number three, track three is called Never Going Back Again. That is one that I'm going to be watching right now with you guys. So let's go to this video. Um, I think there, no, there's no video for this one, so I'm not going to full screen it. Um, but I'm going to turn it down a tiny bit so you guys can still hear it, but hopefully it won't overpower my voice. So, and I also want to turn it up a little bit so I can actually hear it. So, all right, let's go. Oh, okay. More of a country feel than I was expecting. Nice. It's funny because I thought the beginning reminded me of a lot like Led Zeppelin, one of their like more country kind of songs that they did, but the singing is so different. Like this is much more like soothing, kind of earthy kind of singing, whereas obviously Led Zeppelin is more intense. And the lead singer for this band, um, or the lead singer, which is the the man who, the male who I think sings the majority of the songs, has an incredible voice. I haven't mentioned that yet. He, his range is really, really good. Um, and I think he's also the guitar player too, so great credit to him for sure.
It's a very simple song so far. But very, I mean, very good guitar, technically very good guitar playing, for sure. I don't think I've heard drums yet, so they're keeping their own kind of beat internally. Also, I definitely thought that that person in the uh, album cover was was flicking us off, but it's her, definitely her index finger. And I should probably know. I assume it's probably Stevie Nicks, but I don't. I only know what she looks like as like a 70 year old, not at that time. So nice. I really like that one. That was really nice. Definitely like a sunny day you know, going for a walk or something kind of song. That was really good. Um, that was track three. Track four, Don't Stop. Um, obviously, everyone everyone pretty much knows this song. I tried to listen to it um, from a different angle since I've heard it, you know, so many times in passing. Um, what I noticed was that musically, this was actually, I would say, one of the more complex um, songs on the album. I, I thought that the piano kind of doing its walk-ups and walk-downs throughout really completes the song, I think, in my opinion. Um, the guitar riffs at the end of each line, where he'd be like, da-da-da-da-da-da-da, and then the guitar, the guitar would go, bow, 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 or something like that. That was always, that was always cool. It was really a good kind of touch. Um, obviously an amazing song. I don't need to go into it too much. Um, number five is called Go Your Own Way, another, you know, pretty much iconic. I mean, having Don't Stop and Go Your Own Way back to back, it's pretty incredible on, on a single album. Um, it's a really iconic song. Um, and luckily for us, it's come up on the um, random number generator. So it will be able to be listened to right now by all of us. Um, and I'll try to give like new reactions that I haven't really thought of in the previous times I've heard this song. And let's hope for no copyright strike. I'm sure it will be, but we'll try it. So here's Go Your Own Way. I also pressed full screen. Oh, there we go, full screen. Okay, so the singer didn't, ha didn't look like I thought he was going to look. He's a lot of... He's very 80s, very 80s. Disco, almost. Oh, also, from what I'm hearing, I think I'm hearing it correctly, he's actually singing the higher part. So they're having some voice crossing, which is really, really cool. Just showcases range even more, and showcases the range of um, the accompany singing as well. How low that those women's voices can go to. Very impressive. Also, I think the drummer's last name is Fleetwood, so I'm wondering if that's related to the name of the band. I'm sure it is, but anyway. Ooh, jorts. Yes. This is such a, like, great, like, 80s. Is it 80s music video? I don't know. Just a really good live video. Look at that cowbell. Can you, like, what's the point of that tambourine? Is there a speaker there? Is it mic'd up? Or she just needs something to do? I'm probably pissing a lot of people off right now with these types of comments. I like her top hat though. Now the question I don't know is, is their band this big 
or is it just a couple of, you know, concert musicians that they have on there with them as well? Wow, no pick either. Good for him. Also, the drumming has been great throughout this. I haven't, I haven't mentioned. It. I love that look. The jorts plus like a baseball shirt or whatever. It's good. Trying to hear it all the way to the end. There you go. Oh, I heard the tambourine. Okay, respect, respect. Cool. So, maybe you're hearing that for the first time, but even if you're not, we all know how great of a song that is. So, that was track five. Track six, Songbird. That was definitely a brand new one for me. Um, I liked the kind of classical style piano throughout the song. Um, Shannon, who recommended this album to me, knows that I'm not a huge fan of slow music in general, but I tried to listen, like, focus on the lyrics for this one, and the lyrics were really good, really, and really touching, and the song actually kind of, in its own, kind of more soft, slow song kind of way, it definitely had some build to it uh, by the end, um, so that was good. Yeah, number seven, okay, yep, now time for number seven, The Chain. Um, this was another one that I was, like, pretty sure I've heard of it, um, but I can't think of the song, just from, from the title, so I'm gonna just go for it. I'm sure I've heard it, maybe I haven't, but um, we're gonna watch this one together. I'm gonna react to it, and I'm gonna avoid the official music video just in case it's copyrighty. Okay, let's go. Familiar, familiar. I like the drum, just keeping it going in the background. Oh man, how could I forget those harmonies? Of course I know this song. That's beautiful. Wow, that actually honestly gave me goosebumps. Yep, I remember this. I love that call and response they had going on there too, that was good. so good. It's just like, it's beautiful, but you can tell that they're like frustrated too. Like, I don't know, you know, my history of Fleetwood Mac is not cream of the crop, you know, super good, but I do know that um, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks had a complicated relationship, I guess you would say, so I can hear in this song like, the tension, you know, kind of. I feel like it was probably really tense at, at that time when they were when they were writing this one. Really good. Really good.
Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. That's a famous bass line for sure. That's so good. That's so good. That build was awesome, too, adding instruments one by one. an amazing song just like the fact that they had what was the four tracks in a row it was like don't stop go your own way songbird and this one like how many artists just period would would dream of an entire career with like that many good songs and that's just these four songs on this one album so that's amazing so that was track uh, number seven the chain yeah Moving on quickly, number eight, You Make Loving Fun. My first time hearing that one, um, my first thought was that it was pretty funky compared to their other stuff. Um, I really liked the chorus, the backup vocals were really good. Um, the way that the guitar solo kind of like, the guitar solo kind of like started in the, at the end of the chorus while it was still the chorus and like bled into like the actual guitar solo section. I thought that was really, really cool. I love when bands do stuff like that. Um, track nine, I don't want to know. Um, super fun song. I thought the guitar was really good. It was a very bright guitar. The harmonies were very crisp throughout. Um, honestly, it could have been. It might have been my favorite song on the album, um, even though it's one that I had never heard before. So I'd love to hear it a few more times to kind of solidify my thoughts on that. Um, I think they used mandolin in that song, which was cool if if that's what they were doing. Um, number ten, Oh Daddy. Very kinky title, obviously. Very emotional song about a woman who seems to like be in feeling inferior to this to another man or to some I don't know if it's actually her father or her partner or whatever. Um, I thought the instruments, you know, despite the song being pretty calm overall, the instruments actually did some pretty impressive like technical stuff um, and made the song like a lot more enjoyable for me to listen to. Um, and then the last song on the album, track 11, um, Gold Dust Woman. I thought it was really, really cool. It was a bit repetitive compared to their other songs, which have more kind of different sections, but it was still really cool. I thought it had a lot of really good harmonies again. Um, and the way that it kind of built, built, built up, built it up for the past, for the last like minute of the song, I thought was a very um, appropriate way to, um, to end the album. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's Fleetwood Mac's album Rumors. This was their 11th album. Wow, so that's pretty cool that it seems to be kind of just one of these albums maybe in the middle, but it just had all these incredible songs. So um, that was a really fun kind of reaction video. Thanks to Shannon um, for, for suggesting that. Thanks to my other friends who have made suggestions so far, and I'm looking forward to the next one too. So hope you guys have a great day.